Good, good, good. Yeah, what's it mean for you to kind of get to that position as a starter heading into this uh, season, knowing what you've gone through the last couple of years? Right. It's just been, for me, it's just been everything I've been working for, everything I've been training for every day I've been here, and I guess the opportunity just presented itself. How did it feel? You know, to know you were one guy. Uh, I didn't like the way it happened, of course, you know, for British. I hate, I hate that for British. Uh, it was his fifth year here, and I hope he gets back sooner or later. But um, for me, it was just, uh, I think for that reason, it didn't really hit me as, you know, like uh, something that's positive just because British went down. But it is what it is at this point. With that, this is a big opportunity for you. Mentally, how do you approach when you have that kind of opportunity? Right, for me, um, I feel like I've took every day, even when I was back in British up as a starter. So I feel like I'm, I'm prepared in all ways, in all cylinders. And I think uh, nothing really is has been hard uh, since that, since the event of British getting hurt. When we talked a few weeks ago. You said you had passed kind of what you dealt with last year to overcome the injury and some right. of the you as ready now as you've been since you got here to be in this position? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, film, body, healthy, I'm confident. Everything's hitting right now, so I feel good, confident about everything. Nice that Bridge has kind of taken on a coaching role within that running back. So what is it like kind of working with him in a different capacity to you guys up? All right. Uh, Bridge is great. Um, like I said, he's, he's a vet. He knows what he's talking about. And I, right, honestly, I trust him more than I do the coaches. Uh, that's, the type of, that's the type of person British is, so it's been great And past couple of days. I know he's going to be able to help us in any way he can. So. Has there been anything specific that he's kind of pointed out to you in the last week or so? Um, nothing specific. You know, he's, uh, he's been in and out of practice, so not, nothing really crazy. What is UNC getting with you at running back? Like, what should fans expect to see? Like, kind of tell us what's going on. Uh, Honestly, we have to wait and see. I can just say that. DJ, is it is it appropriate to call it a fresh start for you, even though this is what your third year here, right? Like, yes, sir. Even though you've been here, does it feel like a fresh start or seem like a fresh start? Um, yes and no. I would say uh, yes because it would be my first time, you know, being able to help lead the team, being able to put, you know, my efforts into us winning, and no because. It's just ever since I got here, I've been training. You know, I've been working and practicing just to be in the position I'm in right now. What does it gonna feel like for you to uh, finally to walk out on that field Saturday night? You know, y'all you know, been here since July, working and everything. The crowd's gonna be here. What's it gonna be like for you to walk on out there and you gonna play? Right. Uh, for me, it's. Uh, I think I've focused a lot on what we've done as a team this whole summer, throughout the summer workouts, throughout the spring workouts. And I feel like we've just bonded over this past couple months. And I feel like when we get out there finally Saturday, it's just going to be just putting everything together, making everything come back as one. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Personally, I would just say my everyday preparation. Every day just acting as a starter, even when I wasn't from freshman year to that, to this point I'm at right now. Was there a moment in the spring or maybe here in fall camp when you saw Drake doing his thing and you said, okay, he's definitely QB1 material? Um, I wouldn't say there was an exact moment because him and Jacoby had a great battle throughout the whole spring, throughout the summer. But... Um, there's definitely been some times where Drake has made a crazy throw, and I'm like, okay, that's that's what we need. And Jacoby's done the same thing, so it's kind of even with them for me. Is there what you can call it to describe it? Like just uh, last week in practice, I would see him. I saw him step up in the pocket, throw across his body to the other side over a defender to Gavin, and that that was when that's probably the moment for me for Drake. I think. That throw right there, and he's his confidence. He's had some great confidence these past couple of weeks. I think that's helped him out. What's he like in the huddle? Sir? 
What is what's Drake like in the bubble? Let's talk to y'all. Uh, so like Drake and Kobe are both the same. They're both kind of you know. Let's go, let's get it, you know. They're not really talkative guys, but when it's time to uh, be a leader, they step up, both of them. What do you think broke the, you know, the battle is so tight, right? Uh, what do you think broke the tie? Probably consistency. I'm not really sure what, what Longo's head was, but um, I think from maybe from what I've seen, Drake's just been just a little bit more consistent than Jacoby. Not to be on the spot, who's going to take point behind you right back? It seems like it's going to be hotly contested right now. Right. Um, that's a hard question we got right now, too. Um, I think it might be – it's still a battle between the two freshmen, Caleb, and we still got Elijah in the backfield. So, I guess it's a toss-up. It's really – we're all fighting for a spot right now. He's great. Maybe – more mobile than people give him credit for. It seems like he he can run a little bit and escape. You're talking about stepping up in the pocket. Like. Right. Uh, yeah, Drake is sneaky fast. And I've seen, you know, I've seen it a couple times where he just breaks out on a QB design run and he, he can just move a little bit faster than what everybody thinks he can.